Hi, let's look at the difference between Office 2016, which is already 7 years old, and the latest version of Office 2021 at the moment. Should you choose a newer and correspondingly more expensive version, does it make sense? We will compare them in several categories and after you can make your choice. Why did I choose the 2016 Office to compare? It already has a modern interface compared to even older versions and is also perfectly compatible with new computers. Before it the Office 2013 was, but after all, 10 years is already gone, it's a long time for software. This is general information and let's compare these two Office packages in four categories. And the first one is price. Here of course it is clear which program is more profitable. You can buy a digital license for Office 2016 in the Microsoft Store, it is not supported, but you can still find it on the shelves of usual offline stores. Office 2021 home version with one-time install and forever costs between $100 and $150, depending on the country. The same Office but the Professional Plus edition in the U laptop store will cost much less – $26 at the moment. And it's a digital license that is bind to your account and stays with it forever. Note that this is not a one-time activation, but a permanent one. A 2016 Office will cost even less, it's less than $15 at the moment and also bind. Link to these pages in the description so you can see the current prices. It's clear here, Office 2016 is much more profitable. But let's move on the next categories and see if it's worth paying extra for a more recent program. The second point is support. Office 2016 is no longer supported from 2020. This means that the bugs that were found have been fixed, but there are no new fixes or any security updates. And by the way, documents can also contain viruses, but a modern antivirus can help with this. On the other hand, if you use the office for study or some everyday tasks and the program is not used in a large business where there may be attacks by competitors or something like that, then there is nothing to worry about. Office 2016 will run for a long time without any updates. As for Office 2021, it will be supported until 2026. You will receive regular program updates and technical support. A new version of the program will be released before this year. The third, functions. Office programs exist since the 90s. What makes the latest version that is 5 years newer better? Let's look first at what's added to the Office in 2019 compared to 2016 and then what's new in 2021. The official page from Microsoft website will help us. After Office 2019 was released, SVG images and filters appeared in the programs a built-in Microsoft Translator, support for LaTeX equations, an animation transformation effect in PowerPoint, a table of contents and a surface handle, three new functions in Excel, new charts and support for large numbers in Access, a couple more nuances for the publisher and video, and that's basically all. Then, in 2021, another new version comes out and it now has functions for collaborating documents via the cloud, slightly tweaked the design for greater compatibility with Windows 11, several functions for Excel, PowerPoint slideshow recording update and a couple more details for this program. Translator and search in MailSoft Outlook and the most serious thing is the reduction of eye strain with the help of dark mode. Only in this version it became full supported. Another feature is the focus on the line, which is also an interesting thing. It is also stated that the performance of the program has been improved. Updated the drawing tab, support for open document files, there are also changes in access the renewed data type for date and time, new work with tabs, Visio has new element sets, also the sketch functions appeared in the main programs, and the choice of colors is in a new way. Yes, in 2021 there are significantly more updates and they are more serious. Now you can compare the functionality and decide which one you need. For example, I was waiting for a dark team, because it is really more convenient and easier for my eyes when writing in the dark. And for this feature alone, 
I made my choice in favor of Office 2021. But perhaps the functions listed above are completely unnecessary for you. For example, I have never used any of them. And then you might think, why pay more? Say for yourself, but that is not all. We have another fourth point, performance. Is there a performance difference between Office 2016 and Office 2021? I don't think there is any. I compared the load on RAM and in both versions, even when a large document is open, the word program consumes around 200 or 250 megabytes from 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is not a lot for modern programs. Also, there is almost no load on the processor, which is understandable. This is just a text editor. I've been using Office 2021 for over a year now, and it's really fast and stable with no issues. I think that in Office 2016 the situation is the same. All errors have been fixed and it should work stably. So there is no winner in this category. The video is coming to the end and you need to make a choice. If you decide to use the Microsoft Office, which in my opinion is much more convenient than its free counterparts, consider whether you need the features of newer versions. Is it worth paying more? Everyone will make their own decision here, it is interesting to know which office you choose. Write this in the comments. Subscribe to the PC No Problems channel, here we're looking for a variety of topics, useful PC users. Our goal is to improve the performance and use the experience of the computer. Check playlists and videos on the channel to learn more. And see you on there!